Hi, uh, this is my review for the HTC One M8. Um, so, uh, with this review, I'm not really going to be talking too much about specs. Uh, I think there's plenty of places on the internet where you can find spec comparison stuff. Uh, this is going to be about uh, real world usage. Um, I've had this uh, phone for about for a couple of weeks now, and so yeah, I think I wanted to talk more about the pros and cons that I've discovered um, during that time. So, I've been in, mar in the market for a new phone. Um, so some of the other ones that I considered were the Samsung Galaxy S5, the LG G3, and, and this one. And one of the main reasons that I leaned towards this one was, was the speed and the, and the battery life. It just seemed that um, both the S5 and the, S and the G3 were, were good phones, but they just, they just had too many extra features built on top of Android, which I felt slowed it down. Um, the G3 in particular, I was probably most annoyed with because uh, out of all the phones, that's the phone that probably feels the best. Uh, it's light and and whilst it's big, almost all the screen is uh, is so almost all of the front is screen. Um, there's 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 very tiny bezels, but for some reason they decided to put a QHD screen on it. And uh, from what I've read, it just led to um, decreased battery life, um, overheating issues, and and other performance issues. So. They pretty much ruined the phone with that with that screen. Um, I think if they'd gone 1080p, um, I probably would have gone with them over over this one. But um, moving on to the HTC One, uh, the HTC One M8 is fast. It's probably the smoothest uh, experience I've ever had on an Android phone. For me, it's um, it's smoother than it's smoother than um, stock Android. So I'll show you. you can move. Um, it's probably on par or exceeding that of the the iPhone. Um, you can see, like, when I change apps, it's just lightning fast, you know. See how quickly I can change, you know. So, yeah, that's really good. But I, I can even show you. I've got a Nexus um, tablet here, a Nexus 7 tablet. This is a 2013 model. And, yeah, this is this is running stock Android, of course. And you can see just how quickly oops, sorry, apps just display, you know. You can just kind of tell that it's, it's just quick. I mean, it, it is an older device, so... But yeah, it's really great that it, that it can run like that. Um, for me, the speed and the smoothness is is really important because it just takes a little bit to to break that illusion um, with touchscreen gestures to make you feel that that the things on the screen are like a real object, you know. So sense sense UI, um, it's it just seems like a very light skin. There aren't many extra features. It's pretty much the stock Android. Um, plus there's a um, there's like a new ad grader called um, called Blink Feed. So everything runs very fast. Like I felt the G3 and the S5 weren't bad, but there was just that tiny bit of hesitation, you know, when it came to switching and opening app. So another reason I bought this phone was for the battery life, uh, which is very important to me. And I think that's the biggest, that's the weakest link in uh, in phones these days. And I kind of wish more manufacturers should actually focus on it instead of focusing on adding more features, having bigger screens, with, you know, higher resolutions or or whatever. Um, like, I, for for me, the, um, ideally, um, I want to see phones be able to last a week regardless of use. You know. I want to be able to use a phone like I would um, my Kindle. Um, so apparently the S5 and the M8 um, both have similar battery life, but uh, the S3 is shorter because of the screen. So yeah, having used it for a while, I'm happy to report um, that the battery life on this is really excellent. Um, and when I, in terms of measuring battery life, I don't actually consider how long a battery lasts before needing a recharge. I actually um, I actually look at um, how long I can actually use it for. Because, you know, it doesn't really matter for me um, how long um, a battery lasts, um, right, if it lasts for a week, if I, don't, if I can't actually use it, you know. So Android phones have actually come a long way in terms of um, um, idle time battery usage. So um, right now, I think with all the flagships, um, the, ba the phone only really uses battery when, when you're actively using it, you know, when, you're, when the screen is on or, um, or download time. And if I open up the, um, the battery app that I've got, uh, where is it? There it is. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually see it, but you can see it, it averages about four hours of screen on time every time. And this is with like everything on, you know, I've got my GPS on, I've got um, brightness levels set high, I'm watching movies. I even got the, um, the Google Now activation um, on at all times. So 
Okay, Google. So there you go. Um, yeah, so I, I don't really believe in turning anything off. I think if it's, you know, if it's put into the phone, you sh we should add, be able to turn it on all the time. Um, so for me, uh, four hours of use I've spent on time, that's generally more than enough for me to um, last the whole day. And sometimes if, um, I don't even charge it overnight. You know, I can use it for up to two days. Um, so these are the main things that drew me to the phone. Um, so I'll just quickly go through the other reasons. Other, um, the speakers on these are, on this phone is really, really good. Um, not only in terms of volume, but, but quality as well. Now, the camera is apparently not great, um, but I'm not really a camera guy, especially not on phones. I just want one that can, that can point and click and still take a decent picture. And this one seems to be able to do that. Um, it does have a few extra features. So as you can see on the back of the phone, you can see there's um, there's actually two extra um, so there's actually two cameras and this one's actually a depth um, sensor and it actually stores a bit of information about the depth when you take a picture. So I've got a photo here. So let's say um, if I wanted to like this is a photo I took earlier um, and it means that because it stored the depth, I can I can do things like um, change the the focus on it after it's been taken. So you can see this is actually um, taking, fo the focus is actually on the orange, but I can like make it do the wall as well. You know? I don't know, I guess it's, it's, it's a little bit gimmicky, um, but it's a nice feature for someone like me. Um, if you're like a full-time photographer or something like that, you probably, you, know, you probably won't enjoy it as much. So now I'm gonna move on to the, the cons of the phone. And for me, the biggest con of the phone is the size and weight of the phone. You know, um, this, this thing is, you know, this thing's weigh, weighs quite a bit, you know, and it's actually pretty sizable for a, um, a five inch um, phone. I think most of that kind of has to do with the speakers um, because as you can see, there's, there's that. But, um, but it's got a lot of bezel space. So I think it's got as much bezel space as the iPhone. Um, in comparison, it's, it's actually about the same size as the LG G3. I think the LG G3 is probably like a little bit um, wider, but the LG G3 has got 0.5 inch um, bigger screen. You know, I do find the screen though really bright though, um, and even in even in daylight, it's actually it's actually really good. So, um, so the other disadvantage I find with this phone is the non-removable battery. Um, so, I mean, this is a result of having a metal phone, um, I guess. Um, but uh, for me, uh, it would be nice if it was removable. I'm not one of those guys that, um, that like to carry two, charges, uh, two, two batteries around, uh, and I don't actually know anyone who does. Um, but for me, it's, it's actually just peace of mind knowing that I can take the battery out. So somewhere down the line, if my, you know, if my uh, battery gives out, I can just go to the store and just buy a new one. Um, and it's actually the reason I decided to go on a plan because they've got a 25, this 24 month um, warranty on the phone. Uh, another annoyance I don't like the phone is uh, is the off button, which is right here on the top. And as you can see, it's actually quite a tall phone. Um, it would be good if they'd put it on the side, like right here or right here. I'm not sure why they put it on the top. They do have tap to unlock, which is a really neat feature. You can know this to unlock. Um, but um, LG actually has a better model because with this one, when, when it's actually face down like this, if it's you know, sitting on a table and I want to unlock it, I actually can't. I actually have to lift the phone up a little bit and that probably starts the accelerometer or something um, to unlock it. Yeah. There you go, so that unlocks. Um, I think LG also has a, uh, a knock-on code which allows you to unlock the phone using some sort of combination. Overall, uh, I'm quite happy with this phone, um, and I think I definitely made the right choice. Um, it doesn't have as many features as the other uh, Android flagships out there, but for the features that I want, um, like the, um, the enhanced battery life and the speed and performance, um, I'm very happy with that. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for um, listening to my review. Um, and if you have any other questions regarding the phone, um, please um, leave your comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them.